I need to stop at some point. Here would be all right. Spectral nearby. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Sorry, not this time. You, sir. Yes, you. Is everything all right, ma'am? You've come at just the right time, Banisher. There are monsters in the alehouse. When the alewife tells me there's a monster in the brewery, I'm inclined to worry. What did you see? I saw monsters. Ghosts. Corpses. Wraiths. I don't know. I'm an alewife. It is not my area of expertise. But it is very much yours, isn't it? I've seen what you can do. At the meeting house. Anything else I should know before I head out? Perry Cottle is dead. Though I doubt the two related. The baker died, did he? I found him dead a few days back, most inconveniently on the floor of the Hamlet's bakery. Rude of him, really. I'm sure he'd go back and change it if he could. He's not like each other, then. He was a good baker. We traded, shared the barley fields, split the work, split the crop. Till the moment there was no crop to split. When the fields stopped giving, I kept my head and he did not. Dear me. First, the ugly business with the governor, then Cottle. Now, with demons in the alehouse. The world is going to shite, I'll tell you. Well, what are you still here for? Standing like a bloody mute. The ale house lies north, across the bridge, beyond the barren fields. Chop away. But don't get excited. There's no beer. I'll take my leave of you for now. All right. I think I'll go back to the hamlets. Be careful, Banisher. Demons and a dead baker. Haunting case. Haunting case. Don't let it crush you. I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you bruise the heart.
moves. Just how I like it. You're within gun range, Red. It's about to shoot. Never learn, do they? Spectre, going for a meat suit. Piss off! Some demons. Need I was expecting an audience with me. Someday, maybe. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Pretty berries. That's pokeweed. It's deadly. Those concoctions sure are inventive. She knows her trade. I know brewers. And this one is talented. Hiding under that ivy. Lucy Barrow is quite the force of nature. As a widowed alewife amongst witch hunting Puritans, she'd have to be. Exactly. Well, thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. A dangerous occupation when men are apt to hunt witches. What did Lucy say Perry Cottle died of? She didn't.
Watch out. We made it angry. Get out of there. concealed. With Cottle dead, the governor gave the keys to the bakery to Lucy Barrow. Reason enough for Cottle's ghost to linger. Didn't Lucy say all her crops had failed? Not all, it would seem. Some men can't think beyond what they already know. But this, I think, is about wounded pride. This place reminds me of Mother Lawrence's over on Cheapside. And how the old air wife's doing. I'm sure she'd be glad to see you back on your feet. She was a good friend when I needed one. Folk need bread! What do you use in place of the barley, Lucy? Mistress Barrow, please, I beseech you, tell me. No. Be gone. You. You're evil. You could feed us, but you would have us starve. I'll denounce you. I'll name you to the governor. Devil worshipper! Witch! Out. Now. Someone wasn't pleased to be pushed aside. Do they not have a deal to share the crop? That's not reason enough to accuse someone of witchcraft. Lucy Barrow was back in the ill business. And good health to her. Oh, look at that. It's the drunk or giant poet. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. Quite the collection. Well labeled, too. Lucy Barrows is better organized than my mother. So, we've learned much of Lucy Barrow, but all we know of Petty Cottle is that he was angry, and then he died. Let's dig into his story. His mill can't be far. By the fields, perhaps down river from here.
What happened here? Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Nice. Well done. Who oh, there? No? Still no ghost? Poor Cotto must have been really desperate. I think Cotto was doing any bacon at all, with or without herbs. Odd times for Cotto the baker. We didn't learn much. I suppose we should try his bakery. Sack race? You think you can outrun a ghost? Are you? Good day, Mr. Cotto. Good to see you again, despite the circumstances. This is Antea Duarte. She's a banisher, too. Why are you here? We're here to help. We spoke with Lucy Barrow. Are you the ghost that assailed her in the alehouse? I am. I must stop her. I must expose her. You were a wee bit more charming when you were alive. What did she do to you? She poisoned me, the witch. She poisoned me, and if she's not stopped, she'll poison everyone else too. What's your relationship to Lucy Barrow? We traded. We were cooperators, or so I thought. The day I needed help, and she denied it, I learned that we were rivals. What do you mean by cooperators? We shared the barley field. It was good business, but when the crop failed, she cut me out, sliced straight down the middle. When you call Lucy Barrow a witch, are you always stating for effect, or do you mean it? Books in strange and foreign lettering, strange herbs, and stranger beer. The woman has a cauldron. Oh, for the love of all that's holy! None will speak for her, for none know her. This is because she is a witch. Let me state this clearly for you. Because of ignorant, hysterical, gossip-mongering men like you, innocent women die. I advise you to watch your damned mouth, sir. I know what I saw! Tell me about the poisoning. The alewife witch picked plants for her brewing. I watched her do it. I took them for flour from a bread. She must have seen me do it. She saw me do it and poisoned my flower. You said you picked herbs yourself, Mr. Cotton. I know the difference between aromatic plants and whatever the witch uses, thank you very much. Look, she wished to bake bread. She had ambition and I was in her way. And that's not all. Here. We mill barley for our flour, and for some time now, there's been none. When the alewife found a substitute, oh, I thought we were saved. I asked her for it, but she wanted payment. Payment! Folks are starving, and she wanted payment. Wouldn't you have done the same if your positions were reversed? 
What? Of course not. Good people are starving. How, how dare you? The witch must pay her rent, and you must be the landlord. Denounce her to the governor, that a lowly baker may see justice done. No denunciation without proof, and no guarantees even with it. Then go to the bakery, for that's where she killed me. You'll see. We'll take our leave of you. Do what you know you must. Denounce the witch. So, so Perry not only accuses Lucy of poisoning him, but also of being a terrible, selfish person. She was expanding. He was in the way. Still, seems excessive. To the bakery, then. and waiting. Ready and waiting. Standing by. Why is the alewife here? Mistress Barrow, can I help you? Mr. McRaith, did you take care of the demons? I did. Then you've helped plenty. Thank you now. Goodbye. N uh, not so fast, Mistress Barrow. I'm looking into the death of the baker. I'll need to search the bakery. The bakery is mine, and I have not granted you permission. 
I, I believe the governor gave you the keys to the bakery. Yes. Well, I seem to have misplaced them. Perry Cotto tells me you poisoned them. You talked to him? He's dead, but you talked to him? Such talent. Did your talent tell you he was talking nonsense? Why would I poison Perry Cottle? He thinks you were going into the bakery business and wanted to eliminate the competition. By the looks of it, that seems to hold some truth. I am confident enough in my skills to not kill the competition. That would be against my principle. Worse, it would be stupid. And if his ghost can't see it, he's as stupid dead as he was living. I found your key in the alehouse, hidden away by a spectral web. The work of Perry's ghost. He was obviously trying to make sure he wouldn't get to his bakery. Spectral what? Look, the bakery lies empty. Folk need bread. I intend to meet their need, with or without Cottle's bloody ghost's approval. Perry thought you were planning to bake bread, and he was right. He felt threatened. Perry thought that I should know my place. I disagreed. You had production trouble. Cottle too. He didn't mention it. Because, though I say it myself, I, in my ingenuity, found a substitute. Cottle did not, and that vexed him greatly. You didn't share it. If they'd paid for it, I would have shared it. None made the offer, including Perry Cottle. I knew he was spying on me, so I led him to believe that I was using common weeds in place of the barley. I'm starting to like her. You were stockpiling herbs. Now a man shows up dead. Interesting. Many men have used that tone with me, Mr. McGraith. And accused me of far worse. Nevertheless, I'll, I'll need to look inside the bakery now. With your permission, of course. You have the key. Do what you must. I'll take my leave of you for now. Be quick about it. I have a business to run. Perry's plant gatherings. He really had no idea what he was doing. This plant, it's Phytolacca. Moments from the past are still here. Aspen must be the woman Cotto spoke of, the one who trained them. Perhaps he's lonely here, away from his people. Here's an act of desperation. Perry stalked Lucy, then stole her secret ingredient, pokeweed. With which he then poisoned himself. Lucy knew that he was spying on her. Foul play? Scale Foga Smile. Can't keep the baker from baking his bread. Lucy Barrow, you horrible little witch. Oh, 
that's the way to go, poor son. Hunger drives folk to acts of desperation. Are you done, Mr. McGraith? I wish to fire up the oven so that we may have bread. Touch my oven and I shall push you into it. Perry Cottle? You'll not get away with it. Alewife, poisoner, witch. What the hell is he talking about? What is going on here? Lucy Barrow, under the pretext of a demand for fair payment, you hoarded a valuable recipe. That's right. You'd have starved us for the sake of your business. You denied the children of God their daily bread. For business, Lucy. For business. Our Lord called you to give service to his flock. And you demanded payment. Let the alewife speak, Mr. Cottle. If the Lord wished the fruits of my labour, then he should have paid me like anyone else. I worked hard for where I am today. I deserve to succeed. I worked my ass off for it, and you would have me give it away. Not a chance. Mr. Cotto, while trying to guess at Lucy's secret ingredient, you poisoned yourself. Phytolaca, highly toxic. What? No! That, that is not possible! Not just possible. Not even just likely. I'd say it was inevitable. No, I... Well, I thought... Well, that proves it. She did it on purpose. She picked pokeweed on purpose! What do you say to that, Mistress Barrow? I'm a woman. No husband. A business of my own. Means brains. And I dared to say no to a man. This man. I have all sorts of poisonous plants. I'm a herbalist and an alewife. I make things. If Perry Cottle, in his ignorance, tried to do the same, then that is on him. Perry Cottle, in your harassment of the alewife, you were relentless. I don't, I don't believe a word she says, and neither should you. She knew I'd uncover a secret, so she killed me with magic. Are you really going to let me stand here, suffering this idiot's harassment from beyond the grave? For the last time, I am the bloody alewife! You heard her? She admits it. She dares to say it out loud. She is the bloody alewife. She's a witch. She's a witch, and she must be stopped. Let's put an end to this, shall we? Lucy Barrow, for a crime of which you're innocent, the baker Perry Cottle haunts you. But you too are guilty. You could have fed people, but did not. You made Cottle's ghost angry. And many would side with him. <laughs> business is business, and I was protecting mine. I meant no harm. Besides, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll bake them their bread. I I'll fix it. I swear it. Business is business, I. And this is mine. Oh, Braden, 
Now no whale. New Eden's gone from bad to worse. They'll work it out. People always do. Perry Cottle, the alewife Lucy Barrow is not responsible for your death. You are wrong to haunt her. The witch poisoned me! She called you a dolt. I'm inclined to agree. Just won't learn, Cottle, will you? You are dead. You are no more. That's done then. I suppose I'll muddle through. To baking. How hard could it be? Baker Perry Cottle, you are mistaken. The alewife Lucy Barrow is not responsible for your death. You were a godly man. You wished to bake your bread. You cared about your work. I care about mine. Please, tell me how to bake your bread. People must eat. Wait, perhaps, perhaps the Lord wishes it? The people must have their daily bread. That's the spirit. Perhaps they'll call it after you. The cottle loaf. You may have the recipe. I'm not sure if I should believe you, but the ways of the Lord are inscrutable. Spoken with grace. Carry that with you. You have been here. Get on with it, if you don't mind. Good day to you. <laughs> 